Hey everybody, it's Arch back with another grid tutorial video. This time I'm going to show you guys some of the more advanced grid techniques and a few other uh, helpful things for healing. Let's start with the add-ons themselves. You're going to want to make sure that you have all these installed and enabled. You can get them on Curse or WoW Interface and that would be the standard grid, grid dynamic layout, grid indicator corner icons, grid indicator corner text, grid indicator side text, grid mana bars and grid status hots. Alright so let me just give you a quick walkthrough of the way I have my grid set up and this is what I'm actually using to uh, heal in a raid. So in the top left corner I've got a hot counter. This counts individual life blooms and all hots including things like renew, riptide, rejuve, regrowth and it's helpful to know in addition to incoming heals so that I can see just how much healing is going into a player. Uh, in the bottom left corner I've got a uh, rejuve icon that will show whether it's my rejuve or, or another druid's rejuve this number that you see ticking down is a side text indicator of a timer of my rejuve when it's going to expire and on the right side you can see the same thing here for regrowth in the middle you'll see my life bloom counter and I have one of my borders set to show green for wild growth and you can watch it actually change colors as wild growth is expiring. I've blown up my grid a little bit just to show the scale and let you guys see it a little easier. I don't usually run my grid boxes this big in a raid. Um, the other thing that I show is the mana bars here at the top. In order to modify the look and the feel of all those different hots, you need to go into status, my hots. This is the grid status hots uh, module at work here. So let's go into my light bloom for instance. We can set the different color thresholds for when they're going to change colors as the hots expiring. I've got it set to red, yellow, green. So you can see when I apply a light bloom, it starts out green. I've got a four second threshold to go to color two. There it goes to yellow and at 2.5 seconds it goes red. When I see that red life bloom, I know I gotta refresh it on a target or my stacks are gonna fall off. And I've got basically the same settings for rejuvenation and for regrowth. You always wanna make sure that these are enabled if you wanna use them. And these are only for your own hots. Doesn't work for other people's hots. Now here we are looking at the side text on the left. You'll see it's not just rejuvenation, it's my rejuvenation which means that if another druid puts rejuve on a target it's not going to show that cooldown unless it's mine. So I'll still know if there's a rejuve on the target but I'll get a counter only if it's my rejuve. Very helpful. So looking at the corner icon configuration here, we're still in frame, you'll notice that there's eight different spots for the corner icons to go. Each four corner has a left and a right and I'm not sure why they added both but you'll notice that if you enable a buff with an icon that you can get one on the inside and on the outside. I like to keep my boxes on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and check rejuvenation, make sure that that's checked for each one. And on the right side I've got regrowth. Here you can see the side text configuration here in frame and I've got my font that I use, my master font, which is Accidental Presidency, and I've got it set at size 10. Now in the corner text you'll see I've got the same setup. Mouse over macros. I want to emphasize just how important these are to use. I know some people like to use a mod called Click, which enables your mouse to do the majority of the healing which is great if you lost one of your limbs in a war or you're lazy as fuck but in order to save yourself from carpal tunnel years from now I recommend using some keyboard hotkeys at least to heal with so I've copied a few of the macros that I use and the way they work is the macro first looks to see on your mouse pointer or if a unit or a unit frame exists now this could be like the grid frame for instance it could be a physical avatar on the screen. One trick I like to use when I'm uh, raid healing is to actually watch the screen and if you see something like a burning bile come out and it hit a bunch of people you can actually physically move the mouse to their character 
and drop a wild growth on them for instance. You can do the same thing with like circle of healing or a chain heal. Otherwise you just put the mouse over the grid, hit the hot key, you don't have to actually click anything and it drops the heal on them. The next thing that the macro will do is look to see if you have a friendly target. If you have a friendly target and there's no mouse over it'll heal that target. Now let's say you have an enemy target or you have no target at all. This is where the auto self cast clicks in and the heal will just automatically go to yourself. Very handy for PvP. Boss specific debuffs. Very important. Key to healing with grid and healing successfully through new content. Now grid doesn't know all of the debuffs that come in a new encounter. You have to add them manually or download a raid debuff package but I like to do the manual and this is how you do so. You're going to want to go into status, go into auras, where it says add new debuff. Uh, for Northrend Beast, for instance, uh, there's a debuff that Dreadscale puts on called Burning Bile. So I'm going to type in Burning Bile here, hit enter, and now we go into center icon, scroll down to Burning Bile where I added it in. It'll be called Debuff Burning Bile. Here it is and you check that and now when someone gets burning bile debuff they will have a large icon that resembles burning bile right there in the center of the grid so you know to heal it and you can do this for any type of uh, debuff but it's particularly helpful when you're doing new content and there's a lot of debuff oriented damage coming into people the last thing I wanted to touch on with this video is the grid dynamic layout function and what you're seeing here is an actual raid and starting on the left here you've got your tanks then your healers then your range DPS then all the melee and the way that it organizes these is it's kind of a smart mod because it'll look at things like warrior stance or druid form uh, death knight presence to determine who's an actual tank if you don't like the way that the mod automatically configured the dynamic layout what you do is you go into layout dynamic layout and set the the force tanks heals melee and range DPS and it'll automatically put those people under those categories and you can also set and make sure that you've got 25 player raid 10 player raid and so forth to dynamic layout to make sure that that's enabled so this last bit I'm gonna do is just a video of us pulling Araya which is a very easy encounter at this point and showing how our grid is going to look now.